Good morning, Year One, and welcome to Day Four of our Maths lessons. So today we're looking at wider events and things that can be sequenced into a particular order. And we're going to start looking at the language of that. With tomorrow, we're going to retell a story using the language of sequencing. But before you do that, we're going to be doing some extended addition and subtraction. So you need cubes, counters, counting beads, number squares, rulers, whatever you use for counting on and making arrays and various other things. And then you're going to need a whiteboard or piece of paper to write the answers to the starter in the main bar for the lesson. So when you're ready, we'll get going. OK, so grown ups, as usual, you work your way down from developing to expected to secure. And if you don't get onto the challenge, I really wouldn't worry about that because those are very, very challenging. OK, so when you're ready, I'll go through the answers. OK, so welcome back, year one. So today, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, plus 5 is 35. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 3 is 23. 30 minus 2 we'd use a 100 square and we count back two when we'd reach 28. Again, using 100 square, we'd start at 33, go up 10 to 23 and go up another 10 to, 20, to 13. And this last one, we're mirroring. This equals 10. So something plus seven makes 10, that's going to be three. And if you look, you can see the pattern as well. So four twos are eight. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, plus 5 is 35, plus another 10 is 40. Counting on in 10s, 10, 20, 30, 33. 40 minus 2, start at 40, go back 2 on your number square, it's 38. 37 back 10 is 27, back another 10 is 17. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8, and then we're adding 10 bar to that, so that becomes 18. Now we're doing two sets of 10 each time, so two 10 bars, four 10 bars, six 10 bars, which is 60. We already know that 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60, so we're adding another three, so that becomes 63. This time we're looking at 50 on your number square, and we're counting back two, so that's going to be 48. You may even spot a pattern now. And 47 minus 10 is going up one, so that's 37 go up, another one it's 27. And then 13 plus 3 equals 3 plus 13. Oh, whoops, I've messed up that one as well. I missed that out. I'm sorry, that's also 3 because these are all mirroring. And 3 plus 9 equals 12 and 9 plus 3 equals 12. And 13 plus 3 equals 16 and 3 plus 13 equals 16. And this last one, 8 plus 3 equals 3 plus 8. So both sides make 11. Right, 120 minus 1. Well, 20 minus 1 is 19. And then we've still got the 100, so it's 119. You might remember that from last week. 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60. And then we're adding 13. So go up another 10. That makes you 70. And then count across 3. And your answer is 73. <coughs> 60 minus 12. What I would do is I count back 10. So 60 becomes 50. And then I count back another 2. And it's 48. Just the same as 50 minus 2. 57 minus 10 is 47 minus 10 going up again is 37 minus 10 again is 27. So, and your last one, we actually did this sum last week, if you remember, that's 11. And what do you need to add to 7 to get to 11? That's right, it's 4. Well done, year 1. Absolutely brilliant. So now we're going to have a look at the main part of today's lesson. So, what are you going to do is you're going to write first or second or third underneath the pictures that you draw. Now you could draw yourself. You could have a go at drawing these. It's completely up to you. So what you need to do is decide which one comes first. So in our first thing, you've got somebody who's drying themselves after swimming, who's swimming and who's diving into the water. So what you would do is you would put them in this order and you'd cut them out. But I'm going to write the words just for this first one so you can see what we're doing. So the first one is first, is you're going to be on the side, aren't you, waiting to jump in the water. The next one is once you've jumped in the water, you're going to be swimming. And then when you finish swimming, so third or finally, it's up to you, 
I'm going to go with finally, because I like that word. You're going to dry yourself off. So, have a think about the order for each of these. And if you can draw pictures, that's absolutely fine. If you just want to tell your grown-up which order these actually go in, that's absolutely fine as well. And once you've done them, there is a second challenge, which I'm going to explain in just a moment. So you will need to rewind the tape if you want to go back to this or complete this first and then have a look at this last bit. So I'm going to leave the tape run for five seconds. Giving you a chance to pause. OK, so the challenge is to identify the words and put this into the order that you think it should be in. So you can either cut the words, draw the pictures, write the words out. It's up to you completely. But try to match the correct words, the correct event, because that gives you the sequence. And we are assuming, grown-ups, that the egg comes before the chicken here. Okay, well done, you one, and that's the end of today's maths lesson.